Town Hall, I'm going to get in your face because it's so important for you, not important for me. People walk away, but that's okay. You know what it's called? Free will. You can do whatever you want to do. But let me tell you something. God has a better plan for you. He has a better purpose for you. But it's not going to happen automatically. You've got to come and talk. You've got to get your heart right with him. Pray with me. I'll lead you in the way that Jesus Christ has made so you can be safe in eternity. Isn't that a good thing, people? You can be safe in eternity. A lot of people don't listen. They don't want to listen. They have their own truth. And where did you get the truth from? Most people get it out of TikTok. They get it out of Google. They get it off Netflix. They think Netflix is going to get them to heaven. It won't get you to heaven. None of that thinking. And you know what it does to you? It gives you your own sense of truth. And that sense of truth can be pretty distorted, pretty weird, especially if you've been watching stuff you shouldn't on the internet, on the screen. A lot of people have been watching that stuff. It's a deep hole. Not going to help you. Take you down a deep hole. And you know what? Fill your heart full of junk. And when it comes time to see the truth and something valuable for your eternity, you know what you guys think? You think that's a lot of rubbish. But actually what you've got in your heart is a lot of rubbish because that's what you put in there. So we're being a bit tough on people today, but people need it because, especially young people, they think they're invincible, they think they're going to live forever. But let me tell you, 166,000 people died yesterday. Look on the internet yourself. I didn't say it. I didn't do it. Just have a look on the internet. And listen, we don't know when our number's up. People say, well, that's not important. I'm thinking about lunch. This is the problem people have. They put no priority on their eternal life. But let me tell you, your eternal life is important. Your eternal life is much longer than this one. This one's a short one. Two minutes of your time. Come and talk to me. Eternity is a really long time. That's the one you want to get 100% right. Don't worry so much about this life. This life's important, but it's temporary. You know, some people give up everything in this life. They give all their time, all their energy, and they forsake their soul eternally. That's not a smart thing to do, people. You can gain the whole world, but lose your soul. Think about that. People driving around in Lamborghinis, $500,000 cars, all this Gucci stuff they're wearing and everything else, all that stuff, you can gain the whole world, but lose your soul. So important, important for every person. That's why we're out here. This is not about us. We care about you, care about what happens to your eternal soul, your eternal destiny. Maybe we care about you more than you care about yourself. I never understand that, but that doesn't matter. We're out here for you. We care for you. We love you today. God loves you today. He cares what happens to you. He cares where you spend eternity. You might not think so. You mightn't think it's, it's of any consequence at all, but one day you will stand before God. One day you will make account for your life and every action, every word, Every deed, everything you've ever done, every thought will be up before God. And what are you going to do then? Come up with excuses again? Say, oh no, I've got to catch a bus. I've got to catch a train. I'm busy. I haven't got two minutes to work it out with God. That's not going to hold up, people. None of those excuses are going to get you through. The only thing that gets you saved is a relationship with Jesus Christ. That's why we're here today. We're here to help people get that relationship right, get you reconciled to God. And that's so important. Whether you realize it or not, people, it's so important. It's important for you. That's why we're here. We're not asking you for anything. Not even a drink of water on a hot day. We're not asking for money. We're not trying to scam you or anything. We just want you to think about your eternal life. That's a very unselfish thing to do. Why do we care about you? Never seen you before in our life. May never see you again. Doesn't matter. God loves you. God cares for you. God is in me. I care for you. It's very simple, people. And you know what? You know who's here today doing the work? Not us. It's the spirit of the living God is here today and he has divine appointments with certain people. Those that have ears to hear and those that have a soft heart toward him. If your heart is hard toward him, you probably don't care what I'm saying. But don't be like that. 
This costs you nothing, a few minutes of your time, and you can be safe in the hand of Jesus, or you can walk away. You know what it's called? Free will. You can do whatever you want, and God will respect your free will. But don't walk away from him. He is here with his arms open wide for every person. He sent his son to this earth to die for you. That's how much he cares for you. But people don't realise. They think, oh, that's something happened years and years ago, 2,000 years ago. It's some Sunday school thing. No, no, this is reality, people. Jesus Christ is alive today. The tomb is empty. He's risen from the dead. He's strong. He's God Almighty. And he's here to save your eternal soul. But it's not automatic. If it was automatic, I would not need to be out here. Every one of you people will be dancing around saying, we're going to heaven, we're right, we're fine. Not like that. Think about it. When you get your head on your pillow tonight, think about it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God.